Hello everyone. In this uh, video, I'm going to show you very quickly how to work with our integrated connection to Microsoft Excel. So let's uh, find some weather data. What I'd like to do is I'd like to do a bit of uh, holiday research. I'd like to find out if I'm planning a holiday. I don't like humidity. Uh, I want to do a little bit of analysis whether I should go to, to London, Singapore, Chicago or Bangalore, which one of those is going to be worse? Now, ob obviously, we could use our charts in here in the Inside Client, but uh, I wanted to show you this new feature that we have, which is our, our connection with uh, with Excel for any sort of uh, additional analysis or reporting that you'd like to do. Uh, what you do is you go to the Fab button from any of these uh, reports, you find the tags that you want, you select the time frame that you want, you select the aggregation that you want, you go to the FAB button, you go download, you go Excel. And uh, what, what we support the integrations to both the uh, cloud versions of Office 365, so Excel 365 in the cloud, or you can use Office 2016 on your desktop. And in both cases with the, uh, the Excel, with Microsoft Excel, you can use our add-in, so, which is available through the Microsoft Store to connect to data natively in uh, Microsoft, in uh, sorry, in Wonderware Online Insight. So in this case, it's taken me straight into the, the cloud version of Microsoft Excel, Excel 365. You can see that our data assistant is loading here on the right hand side. Uh, so it's loading here because of, you know, it knows who I am. It used my saved credentials with Microsoft Live. It's taken me straight into my Microsoft account and it's loaded this panel. Uh, uh, typically on a first time usage, you'll get a warning message that says, uh, would you like to load this data assistant from Wonderware? Yes or no. Uh, if you're using the desktop version, you might have to use this Office add-in. Uh, you go to the, the Microsoft Office store, you search for Wonderware, and you'll find the two plugins that we have here. And uh, here we are focusing on the data integration. So use the data assistant. Okay, so uh, it's uh, when it's finished loading, it basically tells me that uh, you want to find data from here to here and these four data points. They're saying, well, okay, let's just uh, let's just go ahead and do that. And I'm going to do an hourly aggregate. So I'm looking at one day, roughly seven hours. So I'm, I'm hoping to get seven rows of uh, data here. And uh, there it is. And uh, to make it a little bit clearer of what I'm looking at, I'm going to just restrict myself to to averages, and I'm going to give myself a slightly longer time frame. So I'm going to say, you know what, give me since the beginning of beginning of the month, and give me daily averages of humidity values. I refresh my data. And uh, hopefully we'll get some humidity values for October for our four cities. Uh, let's make sure, yep, we've got Bangalore right there. So let's go ahead and insert a simple line chart just to prove that everything is working okay. And there we have it. And uh, I can confidently say that because I don't like humidity personally myself, I'm going to avoid Singapore at this time of year for my holiday. Okay, look out for my follow-up video to this. I'm going to do another video that shows you some of the more advanced features that you can do with this in, in Microsoft Excel. So look for part two of this uh, video installment. Okay, thanks.